Income Tax Department has claimed that they found 4.25 crores cash in raids on educational institutions of the former Deputy Chief Minister. However, the Congress says it's political vendetta, but the Income Tax in a press release says this has uncovered a larger scam on paying cash for admission in medical colleges. On Friday, for the second day running, income tax reads continued on over 30 locations connected with the Congress's Dr. G. Parameshwara. The former Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka owns educational institutions in his home district of Tumukuru. And that Siddhartha group of institutions seems to be where the focus of investigations is. Hundreds of IT officials were involved in the raids on Parameshwara and another Congress leader, the veteran RL Jalapa, whose family is also a major player in Karnataka's lucrative education field. Sources in the IT department say that seats in the medical colleges were being sold for as much as 60 lakh rupees to candidates who did not actually qualify in terms of marks. There is no official confirmation yet, but some reports say that there was large-scale impersonation in the NEET medical entrance exam and payments made in this connection for admission of students from Rajasthan. Sources indicated that cash and documents had been seized in the search that would seem to confirm these irregularities. Sources indicated that over four crores in unaccounted cash had been found. One of Parameshwara's successors in the post of Deputy Chief Minister insists the raids were not politically motivated. It's a routine course with a reliable uh, information. Normally, the income tax raids happen. It's not in conformity with the income tax. I don't think so. we should give any political color or political dimension to the income tax rights. The way they are doing pick and choose gives us an impression that uh, the government of India is using income tax department, CBI, enforcement directorate to wreak political vengeance and further political. This will ultimately lead to loss of credibility of these institutions. DK Shiv Kumar is another prominent Karnataka congressman facing corruption charges. He is currently in Tehar jail. With Kumar and Govind, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.